Are you considering surgery for a prolapsed uterus, possibly a hysterectomy? I'm the Kegel Queen. I'm a registered nurse and my name is Alice Adams. Let's talk a little bit about why surgery may not be your best choice and what some of the alternatives are. So why not have surgery? Simply put, surgery can create problems you didn't anticipate whether it's a hysterectomy or a uterine suspension surgery where the uterus is still in place but held in place with the surgery or attempted to, you'll, as we'll discuss it often fails. The first thing about surgery though is this. I want to get real with you for a second. Surgery is people going into your body with sharp pointy knives and tools like these. It's just not something you want to do when there's an alternative. It's scary. It's really just as scary as you think. This is surgery. It's a big deal. So with hysterectomy, even if your ovaries are still in place, you can have hormonal changes, including problems with sex, emotional changes, problems with your hair and skin. With the other surgeries, the trouble with that, with prolapse procedures overall, there's a failure rate of up to 50%, and there's a complication rate up to one in six. So even if you have a great surgeon, even if you do everything, you do your homework, it's still a big chance that you're taking that either something goes wrong or you're right back where you started. So let's talk about some alternatives. Fortunately, there are some alternative ways to manage prolapse that are really safe, that are simple, and don't involve knives and tools. So one option with uterine prolapse is Arvigo therapy. This is a traditional Mayan healing technique where the practitioner is, uh, you wear your underwear, they're uh, just on the outside of your body, they're not digging around in your vagina. Um, it's sometimes called Arvigo massage or Mayan abdominal massage. The practitioner, the goal of Arvigo therapy is to reposition organs that have shifted out of their proper place especially the uterus. Perfect. Give it a try. There are people doing this technique all over the world now. And if you're in or near a big city, especially in North America, you'll probably be able to find somebody. If you go to their website, you can, you can find out. Another option is a pessary. So a pessary is a silicone device kind of like this. They come in all different shapes and sizes. I'll show you more in another video. Um, but a pessary is a little thing like this. You wear it at the top of the vagina like a diaphragm and it holds your uterus up. Occasionally women have a bad response to a pessary but or there's a risk of infection sometimes but it's very very rare. And the thing that's great about a pessary, unlike permanently removing your uterus, if you have a problem with the pessary, you just take it out. So pessary is absolutely worth trying. Now, most doctors are not great at pessary fitting. There's a whole uh, art form to fitting a pessary. We'll talk about it more in another video, but it takes some work to maybe find the right practitioner to help you. And also, if your pelvic floor, that is these muscles here, this bowl of muscle, it's, part of it is not here, so all these muscles, this, here's the pelvis, here's your vagina, um, tailbone, that's where we are, tailbone. This whole bowl of muscle here, if those muscles aren't in good condition, it's going to be hard for the pessary to work properly because your muscles need to hold it up in the right position. So Kegel exercises, of course, are a great way to get your muscles toned and firm so that they can hold the pessary in place properly. 
And then Kegel exercises on their own can help a lot with prolapse. They must be done correctly though, which is something that almost no women are doing. Even if you think you're doing Kegels right, almost nobody is doing Kegels in a way that really is therapeutic, that really can change things when you have prolapse. And that's exactly what the Kegel Queen program is all about. So if you want to find out more about uterine prolapse and how Kegel exercises can help you, please visit kegelqueen.com. I'm the Kegel Queen and I'm here to help. Uterine prolapse and pessary take one.